Imagine every dApp has its own Ethereum blockchain. And this chain powers dApps and their communities, providing dedicated Web3 compute resources to support transactions from end users. It sounds like a solution to enable high throughput, low cost, and low latency transactions. Right? Today we will investigate a network more than this. I'm Tony from KK Technologies. Let's discover Scale Network which is a containerized network capable of running an unlimited number of secure, decentralized, high-performance blockchains that are native to Ethereum. Remember that we mentioned the possibility that every dApp has its own Ethereum blockchain. Scale's elastic sidechains work with that logic. Scale works as a security and execution layer that connects with Ethereum by means of elastic sidechains. They are highly configurable blockchains that enable users to select their consensus protocol, virtual machine, chain size, parent blockchain, and additional security measures. Sidechains utilize a two-way communications peg between the two networks to maintain smart contract communication, thus making them interoperable. The network grows linearly to support thousands of these independent blockchains, file storage chains, and other types of sub-chains. All these chains tied to the Ethereum public mainnet and fully compatible with the entire Ethereum ecosystem. Users can create their Elastic sidechain with a monthly subscription fee in scale tokens. SKL token also facilitates network staking rewards and governance. There is a scale manager which is hosted on the Ethereum mainnet. It is smart contract that manages all the activities within the network. This includes elastic sidechain creation, destruction, nodes creation and node destruction, withdrawals and bounties. Come to mention nodes, Scale Network uses nodes to support transactions and operations on the network. Nodes are divided into two categories, subnodes and node cores. Node cores are in charge of overseeing the functions and operations of nodes on the network and provide the interface for users to stake, deposit, withdraw, and claim SKL tokens. Subnodes are what give elasticity to the network. Scale subnodes are also involved in consensus, run the Ethereum virtual machine, EVM, and facilitate interchain communications. Subnodes enable interchain communication through the function of interoperability that connects sidechains in the Ethereum network, also creating a network of sidechains. Let's check token and governance a little bit deeply. SKL tokens facilitate chain voting that controls all financial parameters on the scale network. SKL can use as in the scale network as a validator, stake as a delegator, or access a share of its resources by deploying and renting Elastic Sidechain as a developer. The validators stake scale tokens into the network and gain the right to run nodes and earn fees. The users pay using Scalecoin in a subscription model to rent the resources such as computation, storage, or bandwidth for a predetermined amount of time. To sum up, unique features of scales are modular, customizable, and fast 2 lira bridge, high throughput with fast block times and instant finality, on-chain file storage, zero end user gas fees, fully decentralized with 150 plus nodes and 45 plus validator orgs, pooled security with randomized node selection and frequent node rotation, Ethereum virtual machine compatible, scale accelerated its value from the fact that Ethereum still doesn't have the necessary capacity to support high traffic rates on the network. Cryptocurrencies are highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about Scale Network? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button 